Hi everyone and welcome to the weekend shave, to the Sunday shave. Um, weather has been fantastic here, which is very unusual. Up in the north of Wales where I am, hot, beautiful weather. Down in Cornwall, down the south of England, they've had cold and wet weather. It's normally the other way around. So I'm not feeling sorry for you, I'm afraid to say. It's about time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really joking. Um, it's set to rain, maybe, uh, was it this weekend or something? It's gonna, we're going to have some rain anyway, which will be good. We need a bit of rain. And the weather's going to get hot again next week, apparently. A bit hotter. It might be hot tomorrow. Um, it might be hot today. Never mind that. How are you good people? And you, in particular, how are you doing? You okay? I hope so. Um, I'm going to have a relaxing shave, I'm going to go back to my roots, I'm going to go back to basics a bit in this video. I like to do this now and again, just simple products and the first one being the Wilkinson Sword Classic. How many people have started out with this razor? Um, fantastic, very mild, very safe razor, there's no overhang. It's all plastic apart from the inserted metal in the handle, which gives it a good bit of weight, good balance. Um, Non-adjustable razor. In that razor, I'm going to use a Persona Red. Really enjoy these blades. A brand new one. Um, we're giving the other Gillette Wilkinson sword a break for a bit. And I'm going to go using the Omega ball brush, Arco soap now in here i was going to face lather using i've got this one i've used and i was going to face lather but i always have what i've done is i've cut a piece off here like a disc and i always play it fits lovely in this um this is a big shave scuttle i had off steve farragher and the disc fits lovely in the bottom if i can show you it's small now, it's, it's nearly gone, but uh, there's some ridges on this, uh, I'm not sure if the camera will pick them up, it should do, there's some ridges in there, no, maybe not, um, which helps when you're the you know, the louding. So what I've done is, as I've been in the shower, I fill this with hot water in here, I haven't filled the, uh, it's not winter so I won't use that, in there, put this in and let it soak. Come out the shower. I've used the water actually, just a pre prep, and then uh, drained it out. What I didn't use, flick this, and then started. It takes a few minutes just to get a, a decent creamy lather. You have to keep going, it becomes foamy first, quite foamy and thin. But keep going, keep going, keep going, and you end up with a nice creamy, thick lather as you can see there so let's get going and i'm going to use a few other products i used to use a lot at the start and it's nice to i love this soap it's so easily got to and lovely to use works a treat So have you had a good week? I hope so. I'm using the lighting different in this video um, because of the sometimes it's different coming through the window so hopefully you can see quite well. Yeah, how's your week been? Have you had a good week? I hope so. Right, come on, let's get going, let's get going. Rinse the razor and the hot water and down the side first. Here we go. Listen to this. See, gentle.
but effective. Rinse. You don't need a 200 pounds or dollar razor. And really, in reality, when you pay good money for a razor, you're paying for the quality of the build. Engineering. Um, doesn't necessarily shave any better than say this would. If you understand what I mean. This is very comfortable. I love these shaves. I absolutely love these. Simple. Oh, it's a bit like me, actually. <laughs> Do you agree then? See that? That's appeared yesterday, a little dot. I'm not going into an Indian or anything. Didn't that let it? Anyway. Back. Mm. The slickness of this soap is unbelievable. Unbelievable. But as I've said many times, a few people say, oh, I can't stand the smell of alcohol. Uh, other people love it. Um, I don't think it smells of anything bad or anything good, if that makes sense. I just, I just take it for what it is and it, it seems to do a good job for me. Really good job. So across now, that's a very thin layer there. Yeah. Well, the tomatoes are doing very well. Well, the money maker, the um, the ones in the little greenhouse I've got are a bit slower. If that greenhouse was made of glass, they would be at, at the roof by now, but uh, because it's plastic, it's not as good. Um, well, I find here anyway. And the chili plants, a little. Basket of fire, they're called. They're growing really well. They've got flowers on them. So hopefully, I'll have a bit of a crop. Didn't put much of a layer on them. But very good slickness, the soap. Very good slickness. Go reach the town. We we'll go back now. Like that. We we'll gather all this. Don't waste it. Put it back in. And go like hell. Right. Just to show you, some people don't like it too thick. Even with a razor like this. I mean, it's not thick as in expensive shaving cream thick, but for a hard soap and an inexpensive soap, this is, well, you won't beat it much. 
and you find that a lot with these soaps there we go because this is the third and final pass and uh, well we'll go this way first so about there rinse down to about there And then up. And up. Are you enjoying some shaves? Uh, a few people have said they are. They're, uh, a few people are waiting for the the postman. Um, And there's somebody else who was uh, asked about um, have I got some sort of a, you know, with having stuff coming in. So I suppose some some people, uh, if they're buying a lot, it can cause a bit of friction at home. <laughs> but um, very, to be honest, I know I joke about it, but I'm very lucky, Mrs H. She understands. Um, it's just a hobby, you know, I, I don't go mad. Well, I do sometimes, but I don't go excessively mad or go into any financial debt over it. You know, I just buy what I can, when I can, and if I need something, even if I don't need it. But with having this channel as well, Mrs H fully understands if she's very good with me. Um, as I am with her, you know, if she wants to buy anything, doesn't need my permission, obviously. So, uh, we've never been like that. We've always supported each other and never questioned anything like that. Just shopping wise, or if you want it and you can afford it, buy it. That's the motto. But, uh, yeah. Um, how it works with me, the postman, if I'm not here, um, they're very good. Well, I work for the same company as well, that helps, but uh, I have them leave things in certain places if I'm not here. And uh, it works very well, good service. And that is lovely. And see that now, this is one of the mildest razors you can get. Always do it, I do. Always do it. Right, pick up time. Go on, disappear. Didn't feel it. Good slickness. Just a basic, basic soap that works a treat. That's the sound I like. Lovely. It's nuts, isn't it? And it's true, with a mild razor like this, you tend to put your guard down a bit, and you think, well, it's a mild razor, good. And I do it myself. You know, you just... There's something, you put your... Use an old classic, it's like an old friend, you feel safe. And you think, oh, that's my old mate here. You know, you know wouldn't harm me, but... <laughs> gives you a little reminder, if you... Don't uh, concentrate. Just 
just a touch there, so listen to this. Lovely, smooth, just a touch. Oh, that's lovely, very nice. So, just rinse off. Oh, what have we got today? Lilies. I know them, huh? Lilies. White lilies. I'll tell you something I do know. Since I've been judging in the Royal Chelsea show. Never get that stuff here. The, whatever it's called, this pollen. You get that on your clothes. You try and get it out. No chance. Anyway, this is not a horticultural channel. This is a... Show. Oh, wait. <laughs> Thayer's Witch Hazel, the super medicated, lovely stuff. I didn't start out using this stuff. I started out using the shop, you know, like um, supermarket or the Boots Chemist Basic Witch Hazel, which hasn't got a very pleasant smell, but it does the same job. This is much nicer, lovely. Thayer's, and then... Going back to an old friend here, old Arco Action. I'm always like this. Oh, come on. <laughs> what do you think? Now, this is quite a powerful one, so it might sting. Oh, no, not bad. It might do on the neck. No. Oh, I'm getting too good at this. I'm only joking. Right, that is lovely. Come on. What do you think? Again. Again. Oh, just a, a fresh aftershave smell. Fresh as a dewed daisy in the morning. Hmm? That is lovely. Okay, and then Arco Nem. Uh, this has got um, no glasses on. Intensive nourishing care, a hundred percent natural olive oil in it. I've also got the classic without the olive oil. The olive oil version has a slight green tint to it, but uh, it's roughly the same texture as the standard classic. Look at these. Little necks here. I'm not going to bother with a septic pen. Stip, septic? <laughs> Stip, styptic oak. Oh. It's too early. What are you having for lunch? Hmm? Well, I'm glad you asked. Today, there was, well, last week, there was an offer. I've said this before. Lamb, at this time here, is very expensive to buy and our supermarket has little offers and it might be four lamb chops or two leg steaks well I'm not a proud person and when I go shopping it doesn't matter what it's for it is for a car groceries shaving anything I look for the best deal I can and they have uh, a cheap section, a uh, reduced price section and I always have a quick look in there and it had a shoulder of lamb, a half shoulder of lamb for was it £3.40 and I thought I'll have that um, and that's what I'm having today so roast shoulder of lamb um, 
mashed potatoes. We're having uh, what am I having today with oh cauliflower broccoli, um, Yorkshire pudding, and lashings of gravy and homemade mint sauce, which will go on top of the lamb. I have got a, a jar of mint sauce, but um, will Collie give me uh, some sprigs of uh, mint? So I'm going to make my own tomorrow. Mint sauce. Lovely. So yeah, mashed potatoes, roast lamb, cauliflower, broccoli, Yorkshire pudding, and lots of gravy. And maybe a few cold beers as I cook it and as I enjoy and uh, demolish it. <laughs> Too much information, eh? <laughs> anyway, thank you very much, Mrs. H. It was her birthday um, Friday, and uh, she's now older than me by 20 days. I'm only joking. <clears throat> you don't look it, I look much older than you. Watch it. Look at that. Good. Very happy with that. Very. So, just to go over what we've used, very basic shave. The Wilkinson Sword Classic Razor. Excellent razor. I would tell anybody to buy one of these. Um, the only people that might struggle with a razor like this is people with a thick and very coarse beard. Um, you'd shave with it, but it'd take you a while. I think you'd have to rinse in and so that's the only people. If you've got a very thick and very coarse beard, maybe something slightly more um, aggressive you'd need. Something like an Edwin Jagger DE89 or a Parker. Don't forget the Parker range. That's a good starter as well. Um, if you want a modern version of a vintage Gillette, the Parker range, the heads twist to open. Um, are roughly the same, not quite, but they're roughly the same. Um, and then we've used the, the Big Shave from Steve Farragher in Liverpool. Uh, shaving Scuttle, fantastic thing that is, with the Blue Omega brush and the Arco Soap. You know, the standard, uh, what I did was I just took a piece, piece off, just like a disc. And it's lasted and lasted. Well, I don't use it that much, but it, it lasts and lasts. Um, what are we doing now? So we've done that. And then we've used, oh, the Persona Red Blade, brand new, which was, well, I love them blades anyway. They're good. And then the Thayer's Super Hazel, medicated Super Hazel with Aloe Vera formula. Oh, I love it. Lovely stuff. And then we put the Classic Arco action, the red cologne. Love the scent. And then to put the moisture and the protection and all that sort of caper, we use the uh, Arco uh, olive oil, 100% olive oil, moisturising cream, good stuff. And as I say, very happy, ready now to start uh, uh, what we have now coffee and then it's preparation for the uh, dinner. Um, so the kitchen is mine for a few hours. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you have a fantastic Sunday. I hope you've had a fantastic Sunday, depending on when you watch this. And most importantly, I hope you have some great shaves and some... Uh, I hope you tweak things, you know. Don't be afraid to try different things, you know. Anything. If you think of something, try it. If it doesn't work, we've lost nothing. Um, that's what it's all about, enjoyment, trying different things, make it interesting. And by doing so, you give people ideas, um, especially when people write it in the comments. A uh, little, little, I love that, when people write how they do it, and then somebody else will read it and think, oh, I haven't thought of that. You know, it's good, good. Let them go. Okay, I'm letting you go. Thanks very much. I um, hope the video's come out okay. It's funny lighting. I put the lights facing me today um, so hopefully it's okay thanks Mrs H for the lilies thank you for watching and just on my knees thank you so much um, for all your support I hope you have a fantastic weekend 
and a great start to next week. And then I will see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. So take care of yourselves. Sorry, just before you go, I had um, a comment asking could I show how I strop my blade after I've used it. If you're against blade stropping on a towel, don't watch any further. <laughs> um, this is how I do it. I rinse, I've taken the blade out carefully and I rinse it under the tap to get all the, the gunk off if you like. <clears throat> Simple then. All I do, if you can see this, is um, I don't hold it up like this obviously but I'm just showing you is very carefully once away and again that side and then I place it down pick the other side up simple as that that's all and that cleans the blade it pe some people say oh it'll have an adverse effect on the sharpness and how long it lasts it may well do but I've never found any major issues with doing that and the blades last me long enough where I'm very happy you know if I have four or five shaves out of that I'm very happy thanks so it works for me you know it doesn't work for everybody some people don't like doing it but that's how I do it and I keep the I rinse the razor oh, a bit of an extra video this I rinsed the razor as you can see um, it's been cleaned dried and then I'll put it together ready for next time this is out in the open anyway so it'll air dry as well let the blade dry and then I place that back in its original envelope which I can do now actually it is dry because I've you know it's um, been on the towel so really carefully place that in there and then that will be placed on the number one on my little device stating I've used it once and that is it so thanks very much hope you didn't mind that little extra bit and I'll see you Wednesday for the midweek shave so take care